Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today I thought I would do a little Pammy, Pamela Anderson inspired makeup look. I've seen her like on social media lately where she's coming out with her book and her Netflix documentary, and I've just loved watching her mature and age, and I love that she's kept her style but she's just toned it down and used some different colors and even her, the way she dresses is different. So if you'd like to see this Pammy mature bombshell inspired look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is pin my hair back. And what we're gonna do today is a mature Pamela Anderson look, meaning you know she's got that documentary coming out. I've seen a lot of like posts on Variety. Those are the prettiest. And even in the past, like I would say five years, when you see Pamela Anderson, she usually has on something very conservative. Her makeup, it's her style, but it's like in a mature way. So I'm gonna start off with the Sicily Double Tensor. I always go back to this. It's just the best. I did not even bring a mirror out here. I can't do this whole routine in this viewfinder. I didn't really make room for my mirror. What can I, what can I rig up here? Let's start off with foundation. I tried this yesterday and I really liked it because I've, I've noticed with Pamela's latest interviews and her pictures, she's really kind of pale. It's not the bronzy Baywatch. It's more of a pale, subdued. You'll notice that with like Angelina Jolie too. It's these badass women that are so sexy, but then, you know, they end up wearing, you know, something like this that's very mature. And it's just, it's good to see. It's a, it's good to see a different part of them. So I chose 5.9 Armani Luminous Silk. Another one I was thinking about, I did this look yesterday too, to practice. Another one I was thinking about is the Rattan from Estee Lauder. If I don't like the way this looks, I'll go downstairs and get that. But I just know a lot of people love this and I don't use it very often. But to me, it is pretty close to my skin tone and that's basically what I wanna do. If I were to try to use something lighter, that's when it starts looking like a mask. It's harder to do. Okay, so that's half of my face done. And I, you know, experiment all the time with primers. I think when you get mature, unless you just feel like you have to have a primer, I think something light like this or the City Beauty Sculpting Cream or the Vitamin and Rich Face Base is the way to go. Because every time I try to use poor putty and this primer and that primer, I feel like it makes me look cakier. See, that's where I have like a little bit of discoloration. So I'm gonna put a little bit more. I always like this area to be really good. I was looking at my last Pamela Anderson look that I did and you know, I could see where I went wrong. Things don't translate to the camera as much as they do in real life. And sometimes you just don't wanna go for it, but I'll put that video up here so you can see more of that you know, classic um, Pamela look. It's definitely gonna be darker than we're doing today and more bronzy. The Charlotte Tilbury Concealer 6.5. really like this. The uh, Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey is um, a lot more warm tone. So if you want brightening, I think it's better to go with more of a yellow. If you want, you know, dark, canceling, I think that's where the peach tones come in. And this is both sponges. The last one I used and this one are damp. And I'm gonna go over my eyebrows. Now I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Dip my damp sponge in there like that and then really press it out on your hand. And do that, see how it's smoothing it is and 
that's your concealer that is the powder and what i'm going to do is take this sonia g brush and kind of take the excess and fluff it everywhere else i don't think i need like per se another powder now this is where it's going to start getting different well no it already started getting different because in the past i would have used a really warm tawny sun-kissed foundation but today we're going for the modern day pammy this is the smashbox contour palette do you remember when this came out it was one of the first contour palettes now i also love the Lorac, but this one has a really good cool tone so what we're gonna do is you get a smaller brush. I have these brushes I've never used. They're from Doll Beauty. So let's go in this contour color with a small brush. Now my whole face is longer than hers. Her cheeks are higher and more straight like that. Mine are very, very slanted. Like I said, it's not a transformation. It's just an inspired look. And this is with the contour shade, so it's very it's definitely not sparkly and it's kind of like a gray like that and then I'm gonna take that contour shade and I'm really gonna carve out my cheekbones right here and I have a long longer oval type face so I like to put some right here at the end and then down like that See, we're already coming to life here. Now, something I just got that is so good, I couldn't resist using it with you guys, and that is the Tarte uh, Shape Tape Glow Bar. It is very similar to, I would say, like an hourglass palette. These are so pretty and just beautiful, beautiful colors. So I'm gonna take a fluffy brush like this, the darkest one, I mean, it has a lot of pigment, so I'm not gonna use it today. I'm gonna stick with maybe this middle one and put it on the tops of my cheeks just to give, it's gonna accent them more than really glow. And I'm gonna use the lightest color, maybe put that in the middle of my forehead and down here like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go into this bronzy shade in the palette. I'm gonna take a little bit bigger brush, get some on my brush. And even this bronzy shade is not crazy. Yes, I mean, it's not too orangey. Okay. Like that and then I'm gonna go back to this smaller brush I'm gonna take this contour color and I'm gonna contour the end of my nose which really makes a difference I always just run the bronzer across but I'm gonna actually contour the whole end of it like that and then for blush this is something else that's new so pretty so pretty it's the essence pure nude baked blush in shimmery rose it is just gorgeous and it's a light you know a light color and i'm going to just use it on the backs of my cheeks basically this all of this helps shape my face but it's not just screaming blush i am going to come up just a little bit under the eye like that okay now for brows we don't want to go too dark because like I know Pammy has the thin brows I personally like thin brows I just squeeze mine a little bit I just think thinner brows are more feminine on me and because my eyes are so deep set I like getting that extra you know extra space so I don't want to go too dark with this look because to me, the modern day Pammy is not about the brows. So I got my favorite brow definer in taupe. And I really like it. I used it yesterday. Kind of like what I do with my lips when I want to round out my brows. It's 
easier to do it like in one stroke. Like that. I don't want to add too much on them, but I just kind of wanted to round them out a little bit and then take this, and they're not going to be fluffy, so kind of keep them, you know, in that line. Benefit Clear Brow Set and just kind of lay them down, not really fluff them up at all. See, this one's wanting to, wanting to arch on me. Okay, I'm gonna leave them like that because I don't really want my brows to be like the star of the show. When I thought about this look and I thought about, you know, the process, I thought about the whole J-Lo or Scott Barnes look too, and I always loved doing my eyeshadow over one of these paint pots when I'm doing that type of, it's where you use a dark color, but you're really having to smudge it out and fade it out. For some reason, it just works so well on these. So I like Painterly and Soft Ochre. I like to use a dry beauty blender or sponge and dip into it and then do your eyelid. If you do it with your finger for some reason, I feel like you get too much. And do underneath too. Let's do lips. I think it's the technique, it's the style more than it is the color. If you even look at the oldest Pammy pictures, it's all over the place, you know? It's more the fact that it's a darker lip liner, it's overdrawn, sometimes it's matte, sometimes it, you know, was a shimmery color. It's more the technique. So I would suggest just using whatever you find most flattering on you. I love Max Spice, but I don't like how it doesn't stay a lip liner. It kind of just morphs into the lipstick and it just turns whatever lipstick you're wearing into Max Spice, which that that's good, but this one is so close. I swatched them beside each other. This is the Bare Minerals, and it is the, I think it's called Striking Spice. And I wanted to sharpen it. And we are gonna do some Pammy lips. So, you know, I like to start from the outside and work in. See how I'm going just slightly over my natural lip line. That is what gives you that lip flip look. Especially she doesn't have much of a cupid's bow. I don't either and I don't like accenting my cupid's bow. So we're gonna go a little bit straighter across there, which also makes your top lip look fuller. And then Normally, I don't think I would have done quite as far out right there. I like to kind of work that in. And then I just got this lipstick. I was watching her favorites, The Beauty Professor, and she had done this lipstick collab with the Nude Envy. And it's named after her daughter, Joey, and it's this peachy color. So let's try this and see. Yes. Okay, notice I'm going over the lip liner. I'm gonna do a little bit of MAC Myth. In the center to bring it back more matte. Okay, so now the big difference that I see too is a lighter eye, still smoky, still the same shade, maybe not as exaggerated, and cooler tones. So I have several palettes that I could use because I happen to love cool tones. I have this MAC palette, the Semi Sweet Times 9. I was trying to choose something that a lot of you might have. I've got two Smashbox palettes. I've got this one that's kind of a purpley tone. This one is the Punked the one I used yesterday, and I did really like it, the Mineral Minimalist palette from Smashbox. First of all, start our eye look with a crease color. We're gonna use this contour shade. I want to use a small brush, go into that contour shade. Okay, my eyes, 
I tried. Matter of fact, that's what I was kind of experimenting with in my last, on my Zara haul, I'll put it up here. I just do not look good with dark lids. I have much more deep set eyes. So what I'm always trying to do is make my eyes look bigger, not as round and not as recessed. And the way to do that is to not go in your true crease, but to go on that bone. So you're recessing that. See automatically how it frames my eyes. So we're pushing that bone back. This little refer brush is good. It is the Refer 02. I'm gonna dip it in that same contour shade and I'm just gonna go right under, not too far down. One thing too for fun is um, looking up Alexis Vogel. She was Pamela Anderson's makeup artist. I would love to have that little thing that she used. Matter of fact, today we might use a piece of paper because she used a little triangle where you could do cat eye, you could more, do more day, and it was dependent on the angle. So we might do that today, just for the heck of it. I'm gonna keep my lids light for now. I'm, I think I am gonna go over, let's go over the outside first with this. Okay, yeah, because we're starting to build up a little bit of intensity on the outside. This is still that contour shade from the Smashbox palette. Okay, like that. And let's, let me grab this post-it paper here. Okay, this is, this is the part where I get nervous. You know what I did yesterday? I did my liner first. Okay, and I did get something new for us to use. Now yesterday I did this and I really liked it and I used my cream or gel liner because when you use a black liner, gel or cream, you can kind of blend it out and it's just not so stark. But when I was watching Alexis Vogel videos, a lot of times she liked a chubby crayon. So I stopped last night and I bought this NYX. Yeah, I like that crayon. Yeah, and just, I have a, trouble getting close to the lashes. Work it in your lashes. Okay, and for now, I'm just gonna do the eye. I'm not gonna worry about a wing. Then take a Q-tip and kind of um, smudge it out like that. Which you, you're removing. You know, you're basically removing it. Okay, and then you'll have to go back in and build your intensity at the lash line again, but it won't be as stark as like if I were to use liquid liner. Okay, like that. Let's use shadow first. And let's use a, let's use this MAC times nine and let's use this color here before we get any darker. Let's just get some because they're always darker than you think. Okay, and what she does is she was hold up this and use it. I think it was an eighth of an inch for the Pammy look. And then you would start and you would go under like that and then go out. See how much darker that is? So glad I didn't use any of the other ones. Then you just start working it back in like that from that point. Blender brush. And honestly, I think for a true Pammy look, blending isn't, it is more blended now than it used to be. There we go. Yep, okay, shaping up. Let's use this again, same color. About an eighth of an inch. Down, back up, and I'm just gonna do the outer, outer third here. But I'm gonna bring it out. 
like that. I loved this cool tone yesterday in this minimalist palette. Let's go in here. Okay, and I'm gonna just do that crease color. And pull it out like that. And then I think I'm gonna get a little bit of that. I'm gonna come in a little bit on the lid here because I don't want it to be like bright. But all the emphasis should still be on that crease color. Now I think I am gonna use my gel liner to make the wing just because I can, I'm used to it and I can make it more precise. So I'm gonna use this little Sigma, my favorite ever liner brush, the E05, the Anastasia Cream Black Liner. Work it in your lid and follow that line. I like to tilt my head back and then I'm gonna, once I get to the eyeliner, I'm gonna kinda fade it in like that. Okay, now take a Q-tip and I'm gonna kinda fade this and pull it out a little bit. If it's still too stark for you, what I would do is go over it with a an eyeshadow. Let's use that same color we've been using. And you'll see when you go over it, it'll dull it down some. Matter of fact, I'm going to go over all of it like that. Definitely keep that outside crease color. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm gonna go into this gray and just dot it and come further out a little bit. Gray, dot it, blend it in like that. I don't notice as much of a brow bone highlight as I used to. Let's use, let's combine this color and this color. And just do a little bit. Then let's take this matte. Okay, now we're gonna do mascara and look what I found. Some of my old favorite Ardell, the self-adhesive Demi Wispies. I was actually looking for just Demi Wispies because I feel like that's probably what they used on her. And then I don't think I brought up a mascara. Let me go get my mascara real quick. Okay, when I was downstairs, I noticed that my lip is a little too, too bright for the modern day. Pammy, here I need to get scissors anyway. See how that that lip liner doesn't play. So if you're a spice, if you're a spice girl, <laughs> you would love that. This is one of my favorites. It's a little bit more toned down. I think a lot of you would like this. It's the Taupe Beige by Anastasia. That is beautiful. I feel like I want to tone that lip liner down some. So I went and got Morphe Sweet Tea, which is very brown, but a warm brown. And this is Matt's It, which is more of a cool rosy brown. See how that kind of toned it down? Perfect. Let's do our mascara. This is the Bambi oh, skin on my, no, that's one of those brush hairs. 
on my nose. Oh my goodness. Okay. I was just thinking these um, self-adhesive might not be the best way to go because their band is so black and I don't want to have to do a really solid black line of, I wanted this to stay kind of smoky. So I think I'm just gonna use my Jubilees. I remember that's, that's almost what I liked about these because when you use them, that band shows. Okay, I almost forgot like one of the best parts. The water line, we all know, even to this day, even when you can tell she's done her own makeup and there's hardly anything there, she has that lower water line done. The black liner in the water line is just so harsh for me. So I really like this Wayne Goss Granite. And that's what I used yesterday and I loved it. You'll see it's kind of like a blue gray. My eyes didn't hurt last night. They didn't feel goopy. It didn't run everywhere. Okay, like that. Yay, that would have that would have upset me so bad if I forgot that. I probably would have had to do this video over. So you can see how these have like an invisible band. And I just take them off. And I know that I cut three bunches off the ends. Also cut that little, see how there's that little clear thing that sticks out? I cut that off too. I put the glue, the duo dark on the lash like this. That way there's not too much. Spray, let me see, with this all-nighter. Because I feel like it will make my skin look fresh, but since I use that Armani Luminous, I don't want it to like slide right off. While we're waiting for our lashes to dry, something's telling me that I need to still come out further. Like that. I'm just using, still using this light color. Like that. What I'm gonna do a little bit different is I'm gonna pull them out not go as far in and I'm gonna pull them out and do like that. That really elongates my eye. It elongates her eye when she puts the lashes on. Rather than using lashes that go like this, they're gonna make your eye more round. It's all about pulling the eye out, the cat eye. Start a little bit further out and then Set it down, kind of like with the liner. See how it's like blending right with what you've done? There we go, I think we've got it. And I feel like I have pretty much mastered the Pammy hair. So if you're interested in that, let me show you that. If you're interested in that, let me know and I will do a tutorial. And otherwise, I think we did it. Like I said, this is just inspired and the biggest differences would be not quite as bronzy all over, not quite as glowy, just a cooler tone and maybe less on the eye, but I still love it. I love it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you real soon. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye.